The newest Nova is here. We're unboxing and taking out the cameras of the Huawei Nova 7 SE 5G in this video. I have a lot of new phones for you this week, but we're starting out strong with this. Good afternoon, you beautiful people. Welcome to Isa Does Tech, where we do tech in your real life in style. And like I said in this video, we are checking out the Huawei Nova 7 SE 5G. Now, I'm pretty excited about this phone because historically, the Nova phones have always been really pretty and they're the ones that come in yummy colors. Marketed towards the younger generation, Nova phones are usually mid-range devices that give you a great balance of affordability and power. And I mean, in this instance, it's a mid-range phone that's 5G enabled. Right, without further ado, let's check this out. Here we go, the Huawei Nova 7 SE. So it says here, explore it on the Huawei app gallery on the sides. Just more branding. We see that I have the color Space Silver, 128 gig storage, 8 gig RAM. Now to unbox. That was quick. <laughs> okay, so we have the phone here, but I'm not gonna show you that yet. We're gonna move on to the stuff that's inside the box. So here we have SIM eject tool, jelly case. We have a USB-C cord, power brick, and some earphones. So that means there's an audio jack, right? We'll see. On to the phone. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is the moment of truth. <gasps> oh my gosh. Wow, that's nice. So here it says that you have two slots for SIM cards and then this one can be turned into an NM card slot. Yeah, look at that though. Also, there's a subtle new Nova branding at the bottom. So it sort of looks like glass, but there's a really subtle gradient going on here. The bottom is like peach or pink that turns into a blue up here. It's so nice. We have four cameras here and a flash plus the Huawei branding. Slight bump. Is this glass? Hmm. It feels good in hand. It's not the heaviest phone, but that's fine. On one side, we have the volume rocker and a power button. At the bottom, headphone jack, USB-C port, and speakers. Other side houses the SIM tray. Let's take this off. Ooh, nice. So right, I'm gonna power this on. And of course, as I set it up, a montage. Right, it's time for the camera tour, but first let's take this moment to appreciate this gradient. Like, I'm not over it. It's really pretty. Before we start, one quick thing. This phone runs on the Huawei app gallery, so this is where you download apps. Now this is a new and newer Huawei phones are all like this, but if you're interested in knowing more about this, I have a whole video talking about my experiences using the Huawei mobile services app and I'll link it up here and down below. Now, on to the cameras. So we start with photo and this awesome phone section right here. As you can see, there's AI mode enabled so it automatically turns my image into a portrait photo. I can just X that out. We have a wide. 1x, 2x, and it zooms up until 10x. That's my earring. Up here, you have the flash, different filters. On video mode, you also have wide, 1x, 2x, 
up until 6x. There's also live beauty mode, so that's me beautified and that's me not beautified. There's also body shaping if you're into that type of thing, but girls, remember, you're beautiful in any shape you are. And then, what's this? Oh, this is the dual view mode. So as you can see up here, we have the rear camera shooting and down here is the selfie camera. That's pretty cool. And then I can do like 1x, 2x, 5x, and up until 6x. That's cool. And then you can also switch here. Oh, okay. So now this is the wide. And then you have the same cameras here. I actually really like this mode. I think this is pretty interesting. It's gonna be a fun thing to shoot with, especially for social media. I'm excited to try this. Aside from that, you have flash, you also have filters, and then you can shoot at 4K. What else do we have here? Pro mode, so it gives you all those different settings and the capability to shoot raw. There is slow-mo mode and that does 32 times or 960 FPS at the most and 120 FPS at the least. But as you just saw, like you really will need a lot of light. At 120 FPS, it's fine. But if we go to 960, yeah, see, it's a little darker. So then you have panorama aperture mode or as i like to call it the bokeh mode for objects and you have an aperture of 0.95 up until an aperture of point of 16. you have light painting hdr time lapse moving picture stickers okay so this just allows you to do like cute little there's also a document mode which i really really like this basically allows you to take photos of documents duh but it sort of formats it to take like a square of only the paper you're taking a photo of you'd know what i'm talking about if you've ever tried taking a photo of pdfs in pdf scanners super macro mode on here and optimal shooting distance is four centimeters it says here dual view then finally high res mode which shoots in 64 megapixels because the main camera on this phone is 64 megapixels but it usually uses pixel binning to come up with smaller but better photos on to portrait mode we have 1x and 2x so i like portrait modes that allow you even just 2x 2x is the most i've seen and it has that there are beauty modes the shaping mode and the different bokeh effects like circles and hearts and swirls i've tried this on older videos so i really like those two night mode you have 1x no wide zoom up until 10x AR lens. Oh, these are basically okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, so these are basically Snapchat filters, but except they're built into your camera and you can shoot GIFs on here. <laughs> I'm not saving that. Right. Ooh, did you see that? So that is an automatic mode that happens on night mode for selfies. Basically, it gives you this white bar so your face is more lit. I like selfie portrait mode, no zoom in or out, but also has beauty mode and the different effects. On photo mode, it's the same thing, no zooming in or out, but there's also the gesture control. And then on video, whoa, that's big, okay. On video, we still have the dual view mode. It's the same thing, of course. Live beauty mode and video can be shot at 1080p using the front facing camera. Right, that's it. So you know what it's time for, yeah? Time to test out the cameras. Let's go. 
trying out the cameras of the Huawei Nova 7 SE 5G. This is the front-facing camera. And because it has a dual view function, we can do this. So now you see, this is basically my view. Hiya, guys. Hi. Oops. Hello. What's happening over there, Colette? So this is the wide and on the side you can sort of switch to 6x which is the most it will do on video. Oh, what are you doing? Okay, I don't know what's going on. I think they're fighting so we're gonna slow-mo this. Thank you, Tera. Yes, my knee. Yes. Yes. And that was our Huawei Nova 7 SE 5G first look. I'm really loving this understated look. It's sort of like showing your uniqueness and individuality, but without screaming it, you know? Also, funny story, I was actually a little sad when I realized that I got the silver version of the Huawei Nova 7 SE without realizing that the silver one is actually the one that I wanted with a gradient, so <laughs> yeah. I will be doing more videos on this phone, so let me know what you want to see down in the comment section below. If you want to know how I use this tech on a daily basis, you can find me on social media, that's at said. And oh, we also just created a Discord chat, so I'll put that down below. Join us! Right, that's it for today. Until next time!